In this lecture, let me show you how to create a custom event using jQuery. As we all know, there are a number of built-in or default events in jQuery like click, focus, submit, etc. But if you want to do a number of things on a number of elements, then it will be better to create a custom event. So let's see how to create a custom event using jQuery. To illustrate this, I have already saved a web page and added reference to the latest jQuery file. And now let's add the required elements. First, let us try to create a very simple custom event. So what we are going to do is that we will try to increase the size of a div element using a custom event. So we will be passing the height and width to be increased to the event. So first, let me add a div element with id box and also a button so that when we click on this button we will increase the size of this div element which means we will call the custom event on the click of this button so let me specify button with id btn click and text click now let me first style this div element a bit so after the title let me add the style tag and within this let me access the element so hash box and let me specify the width that is the initial width to be 100 px height also to be 100 px then background color to be pink and border to be 1 px solid black now let me save this so this is how the web page is now looking like let me add some margin for the button or for this div element itself so here let me specify margin to be say 5px let me save this see there is a small gap next what we are going to do is that we are going to create a custom event to which we will pass the height and width to be increased and on the click of this button we will trigger that event so let's do that so for that let me add the script section and document dot ready event so dollar document dot ready within this function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and to create a custom event we are going to use the on method so we are going to create a custom event not only for this box that is not only for this development with id box but for all the developments so let me specify dollar div dot on and first we need to specify the name for the custom event so let me specify the name as my resize because we are going to resize the div element right comma function to this function as a first parameter we need to pass the event okay and then we can pass what all arguments we want for the function or the event so for this one i want to have width height and background color so let me specify w h and b c for background color then we can write the code that is to implement the resizing part so how we can do that we need to increase the width then the height and then the background color so this is a very basic function or very basic event which we can implement even without an event but still to understand how we can create a custom event we are doing this so here let me access the element using this so dollar this dot css let me specify the width to be w which will be passed to the event then dot css height to be h and finally dot css background to be bc so background as bc here we have defined the custom event for all the developments and using on first we have specified the name of our custom event and in the function we need to first pass the event and then the parameters or the arguments for the custom event so here we are passing three arguments that is w h and b c and for the element we are setting the width height and background as w h and b c next we need to call this or trigger this event right so where we will trigger it on the click of the button so let me specify dollar 
hash btn click dot click that is on the click event we are going to trigger it so click function and within this let me access the box element so for this box element we want to call this my resize custom event so here dollar hash box oh sorry it should be within double quotes hash box dot trigger that is a function we need to use to trigger the custom event trigger then we need to specify the name of the custom event that is my resize and then we have to pass the parameters or the arguments to the custom event so there are three arguments they are w h and b c we don't have to pass the event we just have to pass the actual real parameters so we can pass them within square brackets let me specify 200 as a width 200 as a height and purple as a color now let me save this and let's check whether it is working or not let me refresh let me click the button see the size is increased width is increased to 200 px height to 200 px and the background color is changed to purple next let us try to implement a traffic signal system using this custom event so after this we can remove this if we want but i am just adding the code so div element with id traffic and within this we want red yellow and green colors right so let me have three more div elements with class lights and let me add a data attribute to specify the color so data color equal to red let me copy this for yellow and green and just change the color to yellow and this to green okay then we need three switches for red yellow and green so let me add button okay outside div we will add that is outside the main div here button with class switch color that is a text to be red again let me copy this for yellow and green okay change this to yellow and green now let me style these div elements a bit so that it will look like a traffic signal okay so here let me access the main div element that is the element with id traffic so hash traffic let me set a width of say 120 px height of 340 px border of 4 px solid black a padding of 10 px border radius of say 10 px okay then we need to have the colors that is classes lights and data color is red so let me access them using their class name dot lights let the width be say 75 px height also 75 px border radius to be say 50 px then padding of 10 px a margin of 5 px then let me also set a border border of say 2 px solid black now let me save this and check the output see this is how they are now looking like i think we can set a margin for this main development and also this gap can be reduced that is the height can be reduced so let me do that for the traffic let me set a margin of 5 px and let me reduce this to 335 px okay now let me check see this is how it is now looking like if we want we can style these buttons as well i am not doing that 